Vehicle thefts are on the rise, and I have released two videos on vehicle thefts, and it seems to continue to be on the rise, even we're trying to combat it, right? In the greater Toronto area, the Lexus RX is the number one on the hit list, and for thieves to ship it to Africa or to other markets in the world, and some, they're tearing it out and using those parts as parts because there is shortage of parts. So it's obvious that we would find ways to install anti-theft systems so that we can combat this type of crime. And obviously, it's better to park your car in the garage. And yes, some cars won't fit in the garage. But for RX owners, I think most garages in the Greater Toronto Area will fit the RX. In this video, we will look at an unfortunate event occurred to a loyal Lexus and Toyota owner in the Greater Toronto Area. So let's look into this article from CBC Canada in the Toronto area and the topic actually says he wanted to keep his Lexus from being stolen. Now he faces a $20,000 bill and a void warranty. So what is happening here? Seems like the owner went and installed an anti-theft system and the Lexus doesn't work anymore and that it, there's a void warranty which means they have to pay the money out of pocket. Let's dissect a little bit more. So we see here it says, company says faulty anti-theft device installed damaged wiring and the installer disagrees. So it seems like the owner is actually stuck in between the two. The installer doesn't agree, the Lexus Canada or the dealership saying that the anti-theft device is actually faulty causing something, causing the wiring to go. So let's read on and see what they say here. So the owner, his name is Mark, um, and he said he has a brand new RX 350H. He installed an anti-theft device in the vehicle and now it says that the dealer is refusing to honor his warranty. So a Northfield couple have found themselves facing a massive car repair bill mere months after buying a brand new new Lexus. And it's all because their attempt to protect their new vehicle, one of the most stolen makes in Ontario. So here we see Mitchell and his wife. So it seems like they have Mark and Mitchell. So they've been loyal Lexus customers, even after they've lost two vehicles, including a Lexus. So it's not just uh, both Lexus, only one Lexus, two thieves within the past 16 months. So when they visit Kenshaw Toyota. So Kenshaw has a Toyota and a Lexus. I don't know if they went to Lexus or Toyota. Last July, the couple says they were told that the salesperson that they wanted to add extra anti-theft measures to their new $75,000 NX 350H. So keep in mind right now is the most stolen RX is actually the previous generation RX and not the current generation. But obviously, we all want to protect our like our vehicles, right? So it makes sense to go install an anti-theft device, especially they've lost two vehicles in the past 16 months already. And it's unfortunate because when you look at it, they're saying that the dealership didn't offer any anti-theft extra add-ons. But I recall when I went to the dealership, when I bought my Annex, they actually did offer some other systems that they can install as part of when you buy the vehicles. So I don't know why Kenshaw Toyota or Kenshaw Lexus did not offer anything like that. So any owners of a Lexus who've actually got a security system and anti-theft system installed um, when they actually picked up the RX or NX or any other Lexus vehicle, let us know in the comments below because I'm curious because I thought I've seen some dealerships have offered extra anti-theft systems. Maybe unfortunately he went to Kenshaw that never offered it. Who knows? All right, so let's continue down and see what they say here. They're saying that the salesperson told them it was okay to add an extra anti-theft measures as an assertion to the dealership has denied. So, okay, so the salesperson they obviously will tell you that you can add it, but now they're facing a $20,000 repair nightmare and avoided warranty. And what they're saying is they're very upset, very annoyed, and 
it's at a point where my wife and I stare at one of each and at each other and saying that, did you sleep last night? And the answer is no. So I'm curious here. So obviously one thing is it's a voided warranty. So why go to the dealership and pay $20,000 with the extremely high cost of uh, the dealership? Probably if you go to a mechanic, they can probably do it in a much lower cost. Follow me on Instagram at LSFT videos. You can see updates on my experience with the NX450 Plus, which may not be shown on any future videos. You can also reach out to me via direct messaging if you have any questions on your Lexus. If you like this video, you can provide me feedback in the comments below, like this video and share it with your friends. This definitely will help me with the YouTube algorithms. Press the subscribe button and bell icon and get notified when new videos show up. And lastly, if you want to support me further, you can provide me a super thanks, which is greatly appreciated. And now let's continue with the video. It's still going to be expensive. It will not be 20,000. Probably you can get it down to half or at least 25% off that. Still expensive, but definitely annoying. So I'm surprised that um, I could, seems like Lexus is really strong. The dealership is very hard on it saying that it's it's something that you go and out and did something. So I think it's an extreme warning to all the folks who are picking up their RXs and Nexes. When you actually get it, make sure everything is working before you actually go and get any, any anti-theft systems installed or any third-party systems installed because this could actually happen. So what did, what did they say, say here? So they're saying that last fall, so this is really giving you some background, right? Vehicle thefts in Ontario has increased for the fifth year in a row. And they're saying that in 2021, the company said Lexus RX series were Ontario, Ontario's most stolen vehicles. So they, that's why they wanted to add the protection and totally agree why they're doing that, right? So they're saying that the couple said that even before they installed the aftermarket anti-theft ignition lock, they were noticing problems with the vehicle. They didn't even they didn't immediately return it. They said because at first the problems were intermittent, so it doesn't happen all the time. Shortly after getting the new car home in July, the fob and then the associate online app would only open the vehicle intermittently, and starting the car was also iffy. Because Okay, because they say it wouldn't always start. So if that was the case, I would immediately bring the car back. It's a brand new vehicle. Why would you go and install an anti-theft system when the car has other problems? Like adding the anti-theft system will not help starting the car if there are problems with the fob or the app. But again, if it's the app and the fob, it's either it's not detecting the fob or the app is just not having good data signal. So not sure if that would actually cause wiring issues. But when you look at it, um, first thing is, no matter what you do, go and get the warranty period stuff done first before you go and install anything. So it seems a little bit odd here. I, 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 I'm, I'm not saying that they're lying, but I think that for me personally, if it doesn't start and there's problems, an appointment with the dealership is actually going to be there immediately because a brand new car and it can't start, that's a big problem. So you see here, CBC is just saying that the top 10 commonly stolen cars, the RX is number one. And it's continuously being number one at this point. CRV, I don't think it's actually stolen as much now. But then if you just keep on going down, it's saying that Lexus vehicles are among the most stolen in Ontario. So I think this is the Lexus RXs, but not Lexus vehicles. If you look at here, we have the CRV, we have the Civic, we have the Accord, we have the Highlander, and we have a Tacoma. So if you look at it just by brand, Honda is the most stolen. But if you look at, yes, number one is the RX series. So we do know that the RX is being stolen a lot. But... I don't know. Has anybody owning a 2023 model of an RX, the brand new one, has it been stolen? 
I'm I I'm still at this point. I have not heard the new generations has been stolen. The NX or the RX has been stolen. We definitely know that the previous generation RX is still being stolen very frequently. So again, I believe all cars can still be stolen. It's just that the RX seems to be just extremely high demand. All right, so let's move down and say, despite the problems, he actually took the new vehicle to the car installation in North York to have the anti-theft device installed. Soon afterwards, the, the couple says the problem with the fob and the app became a bigger problem. So they said that they couldn't even get the car started at all and they had to tow it back to the dealership. So then they're saying that the technicians told them that the car wiring had been compromised and he had to have his new anti-theft device uninstalled before they can work on the vehicle. Then when he brought the car back to the dealership a few days later, he says that the technicians told him that the anti-theft system installed had damaged the car's wiring. And they're saying that not only would the repair be expensive one, it's around $20,000, but they will have to pay it out of pocket, the dealership said, since the warranty had been voided by faulty installation of the anti-theft device. So there is now the argument between the installer and the dealership. So they went for a second opinion. So they went to Don Valley North Toyota. So I'm assuming that they went to Don Valley North Lexus. And they agreed that the warranty should be voided according to an email from Ken Shaw General Manager. So it seems like both dealerships agree that the vo warranty should be voided. Okay. But then they're saying that the director of the device installation company CSI said that there were no problems with the device installation. And then he said they installed thousands of anti-theft devices that require a pin code to be entered before the car can be started. We have dealers from the same brand Lexus Toyota sending us cars brand new before delivery to the customer to install the system and had no issues. So one thing I would say here, they nothing is wrong with the device. It could be an error on the person who installed it. It could be that they put the, the, the wiring onto the wrong, the positive, the negative or whatever, and that could actually cause a big problem. So I don't know. I don't know if this is a problem of uh, the installation person or it's something got tampered or whatever. So he's saying here that he also said that the independent te technician had a look over the vehicle and determined that his installation could not have caused damage, which appears to be melting between wires. So they're saying that the wires are melting. And they're arguing that one of the technicians at Lexus must have caused the damage while attempting to troubleshoot the, the problem. So I think it really depends on what has happened. Did the dealership, did they actually look at the car and start investigating? Or they saw that, oh, they had an anti-theft device. So that, and they noticed that there was something wrong with the wiring. Then that's why they said they had to take it off before they can do any work on it. So then they're saying here that, both Lexus Canada and Ken Shaw Toyota denied that. And in a statement to CBC Toronto, Lexus Canada insists that the vehicle wiring was damaged by a third party. So in this case, two different Lexus dealerships found that the third party damaged the vehicle and their, their attempt to installing the accessory. So since the damage was as a result of a third party work and not a manufacturer defect, it will not be covered by the manufacturer warranty. So right now, I think this is like he said, she said, really, because when you look at it, there's there's no proof of when did it melt? When did the wiring melt? What happened? Maybe there's nothing wrong with both sides. Uh, a mice came in and start chewing on it and actually put the two wires together and start to have a short circuit and melt it. Who knows? So I think this is the key message in this video is to, if you have problems with the car, don't add any more things to it to cause more problems. The reality is get them all resolved before you actually go and get an anti-theft system or anything installed. Or even I've, I've seen people changing speakers. They don't like the Pioneer speakers and they wanted to get better music off their NX. Same thing.
make sure that there is no problems before you go and add these things in because essentially you have voided the warranty. So he says that he's also wondering whether the manufacturer could handle the, this sort of situation differently. So don't know if this news will actually change the behavior of Lexus Canada and maybe as a courtesy to pay half of the bill. I don't know. But this seems to be something that there is going to be an argument here. They should know that this high, th high theft vehicle and maybe offering something to make the alarm system as well. Again, I think this statement is really a little bit hard to know. We don't know what Lexus has done to the RX. It's a brand new generation. It's not like they, he bought a 2021 or 2022, which is really the, the one that's being stolen a lot. So maybe they have done it. Who knows? But they're saying that, that for sure this is a bad experience. And again, especially if they are loyal, they've actually bought multiple Toyota Lexus vehicles. And now they're getting this problem. I hope this gets resolved. I hope you don't have to get out of pocket 20k. Hopefully this actually gets reduced in some shape or form. I would say that um, I think the biggest problem was that you had problems starting the car already or with the fob. That should have been resolved before getting any anti-theft systems in. And I understand that this, this is typically something that is critical. Um, uh, just to make sure that you combat the crime like most likely for my my sake i do not park my car outside it's parked in the garage so that that already reduces like a lot of percentage of your car being stolen already if you're watching this video and if you've experienced something similar probably put your put your story below in the comments so hopefully we can get to understand more about these warranty claims but typically I personally will not make significant changes to the vehicle, at least for the first four years, just so that the warrant, there's no excuse that the warranty is not covered. So there we have it. Hopefully Lexus Canada, Ken Shaw, Lexus, and Mitchell will have it resolved and he wouldn't need to out of pocket pay that much, probably pay less. Every party pays a portion of it or something so that this actually gets resolved. I hope you found that this story was informative and until next video, drive safely. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please comment, like, share this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon to get notified when new videos are posted. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can provide me a super thanks. And until next time, cheers.